all right guys welcome back on this second part i will be walking you through on how you can set up your account and your profile so how do you do that you tap on this three by here flip down this account setting and profile setting so let's begin with profile profile setting okay. personal information personal information and we want to make ensure that everything is up to date as you send and receive mobile payment customer id all right it's cool login security advice to that you know what your security level is all about so this one can update security question can add security questions all of this is just to protect your account from being scammed so my business info email address address phone number password bank account cards or more so all right, this is a security question we will we'll use this question as a way to make sure is your account like if you need to reset your password so now question one what was the name of your first school what was the name of your first pet what is the name of your of the hospital in which you were born? What is the nickname of your oldest child? What is the middle name of your father? What is the name of your favorite childhood? Who was your first roommate? What is the middle name of your grandmother? So what was the name of your first school? This one is better. All right. Name of my first school is. Goswell. Goswell Academy. And question two. What was the name of your first pet? And put it there. Body. save all right is updated Again, and security. So then you can set a two step verification. If you show we so the next step is account setting. So here yeah, you will need to link either your card and bank details, account access, 
Okay. Okay. I'll go back. Account preferences. Okay. Then payment preferences. Okay. Then your business profile now, business information. Okay, this is your merchant ID. Then you have an uh, account online information. You can only update in case you have any challenge here. Or there is need to make an update. Then money banks and card is where you you link your bank. your bank and you link credit card so doing this we we give credibility to your your account so the first verification was to verify you as a PayPal account owner then this other one linking your card and your bank is to portray you as an individual and uh, also a business entity legit so any client out wants to you know do business with you we see you when i mean you i mean your account as not fraud so how do you do that? You just tap on link. Link a new bank. Still coming up. Okay, yes, bank account, you know. Okay, sorry, sorry. Being in Nigeria, you can only link your card. Remember, I told you before, this is not a Nigeria platform. So you, can, you, can, you are only allowed to link your card. So this is where you actually everything is secure you have not okay so you link your card credit card then when it will expire i mean select your card type so yeah these are the cards these two are the one we make use of in nigeria visa and mastercard please it does not accept the valve so if you have Visa and MasterCard, you are good to go. Then the security, you put your expiring date. Then the security code is the three digits number at the back or front of your card. That's the three digit code. You see it at the back. So once you are done, you just tap, you just, you know, the link. You have to wait for a while. You get a notification from PayPal if it went through successfully so once it's linked trust me you are good to go you are very good to go so thank you for staying true 
and you have a beautiful morning making <laughs> journey bye for now